So, um, some people at the school that I work at, uh, now that it's summer, um, have picked up on Clicker Heroes, and I would like to help out a little bit. For those that know my channel, um, they'll have a slight advantage. Uh, one thing that um, a lot of them have been asking about is how do I get so far? Well, the fact of the matter is, I recently activated a special thing. Uh, I have ascended 181 times. Um, my, let's see, there should be a highest world, or highest world ascension. Um, I guess it doesn't show that anymore. But I used to be able to get quite high. Uh, I've gone back quite a lot of stuff. So I lost a lot of data, but... Um, I do have... This will show. I killed a lot of monsters. 1,500,000, 1, which is a significant amount. Uh, I beat zone 160. I've actually beaten, or beat zone 1,800. I've I've beaten much higher zones, but some weird stuff has gone on, and I don't really want to get into it. Uh, so I'm starting kind of over. I'm not actually starting over because, as you can see by this, my transcendence power um, gives me some extra extra buffs. Um, so I'm gaining more hero souls. Now, uh, Xyloquil is an... Xyloquil is more for my usual strategy. Uh, idle bonuses... For not clicking for a minute, you enter idle mode, and there are two ancients that increase your damage and increase your DPS when you're idle. Um, additionally, uh, Chorgoloth, who's level 17, says that my ancients cost 58.19% less, which is incredibly important because you want them to be, the cheaper they are, the better. And since the change, the cost of leveling up your ancients has gone up a lot in some cases. And in other cases, it's gone down. Um, I haven't put any into Fandorus, uh, who gives you some extra power. And Transcendent power is important because it increases your hero souls. Um, and uh, that one's useful um, because hero souls are how you level up and buy your ancients. Um, I haven't put any into Borb yet um, because his benefit is that his benefit isn't going to be very important. It'll be super important, but it won't be important very often. Uh, and Pony Boy just increases Solomon, who is an ancient that gives you bonus gold. Who's nice and all, but um, not not entirely useful for uh, my usual strategy. Um, I focus more on the passive strategy, which is a little bit more powerful in the long run. Uh, but immediately it, it doesn't have any obvious advantages. Uh, one thing that I miss is that I used to have a whole bunch of um, uh, I, I had a bunch of rubies and I activated the um, I, I got the 2x multiplier um, and I had gotten a couple random gilded heroes quite a lot actually um, I actually had 105 different Gilded Heroes, and over the course of, I guess, several Ascensions, maybe like 100-ish, um, hopefully I'll be able to get them back. Uh, rubies you can buy, or you can earn them by finding uh, special fish. Uh, I'll end up getting into the specifics of all these things later, but I figured I'd cover the basics. Uh, I sh 
honestly, I probably should have explained things a little bit when I had my old save file, um, which I don't have, I don't think. Yeah, I deleted that one. Um, I used to have a old save file, which was quite obscene. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, I just thought I'd pick it, this game back up, uh, and by activating and by transcending, I'm kind of putting myself in the same boat as, uh, all of the kids who are at the site that I'm at, but not really, because in order to have, um, as many ancient souls as I had, I had, like, I don't know, 40-some? I had like 40-some Ancient Souls. Ancient Souls are incredibly expensive. You do not get Ancient Souls very easily. Uh, and I also lost um, a lot of uh, Hero Souls. And the Hero Souls give me Transcendent Power, which increases future uh, Hero souls um it's i'm not really sure how i feel about this variation uh i think it's kind of neat and it gives you something else to do especially since one of the big things that you can do or that you used to be able to do is once you reach those perfect um hero souls and the Ancients, all you needed, all you did was you would ascend and put more points into your uh, couple, into the few ancients that could keep going infinite. And honestly, that's why I stopped playing because I found that part quite repetitive and boring, and I hated it. Um, this has kind of brought my interest back because I'm starting over. But I'm not really starting over. Once I start going idle, um, my idle bonuses are going to be huge. And once I start getting ancients, the cost of my ancients are going to be nothing. Uh, I hope that this includes leveling up because leveling up ancients is not cheap. Uh, that is where a huge amount of everything goes into. And once you get a lot of ancients, you can start going very quickly. And the faster you go, the more hero souls you get. But now that there's transcending, there's a point where you have to ask yourself, is it worth keep continuing to ascend as opposed to transcend? Once you transcend, you actually lose your ancients and all of your hero souls and all of your bonuses, uh, except for... Um, you, you get to keep your ancient souls and your transcendent power, but you lose everything else. Which is actually a lot. When you ascended, um, when you ascended, you lose every all the progress on your heroes. Uh, but on the other hand, you would get to keep your relics, which I don't have that little tab bar here because I don't have any relics. Um, you get to keep your Ancients, which again, don't have that tab, and uh, you get to keep your uh, Mercenaries, and your Mercenaries were really important because the Mercenaries allowed you to go, uh, would go on extra, like, short missions, you know, like, five minute missions, one hour missions, two hour missions, eight hour missions, and then they come back with some bonus, or they die, and then you'd be kind of sad because you spent rupees on them. But, um, those were uh, all things that they were slowly implementing and then when I came back they had transcending which eats up all of those things but the bonuses that you get from transcending are amazing they're way more than what you get from just ancients on the other hand you lose all of your ancients so it's, it's a trade-off um, I think it's a nice thing that they did. Uh, it, I mean, it's brought me back into the game. Um, and uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing. I'm 
putting levels into certain uh, heroes that I know are very powerful um, just because I need to get myself back to where I was. So there won't actually be a whole lot of videos on this because it's super boring. Um, it does allow me to ramble and talk about pretty much whatever. Uh, but it doesn't really make for good content. Um, I will... You, uh, I used to just leave this running in the background, um, and then I just level up my heroes as I needed to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really planning on doing a whole lot with this. I'll probably let you guys know what my first ascension is going to look like. Uh, it won't, it won't be too exciting. Your first couple ascensions are quite boring. It's usually like the first 15 ascensions before you start getting into actually interesting stuff, which is where the better ancients appear. Um, there are ancients that allow you to decrease bosses' health. There are ancients that allow you to uh, do all kinds of crazy things. There's there's a wiki. I'll, I'll include it in the, um, in the bar or in the uh, uh, about, but honestly a lot of it's pretty boring stuff. Uh, if you like being, if you like be getting technical, which I do, but it's it's not exactly the most interesting of stuff to hear about. Um, then I can easily uh, bring it up, but I, I can't imagine most people would be interested in it. Um, it's it's boring. It's boring is what it is. So, I don't know if that's a thing that you really need to know. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. Just, you know, showing that I also play Clicker Heroes. Or, at least, I used to, and I'm getting back into it. So, neat stuff!